Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I'm putting together the Blue Bowl Gold Concentrator inside the house and I'm going to go through some work with it. I had it running before. I'm putting it back together and I'm going to go over some uh, the way this functions. I'm not going to go into details on how to set it up. There's all kinds of information out there on that. But I'm going to do some modifications and upgrades to improve its performance and cover some issues that I've discovered along the way that caused me to lose gold and how you can prevent that yourself. I got a nice piece of gold right there. I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, if I can get the camera to see it. Um, right, look at that. You can see that thing. Whoops. It's not the one in the lower part of the scene, it's the one on the top. I don't know what that other shiny thing is. That's gold right there. Look at isn't that pretty? Zoom in as good as I can, right there glowing. That's pretty decent. That's from some beach sand I picked up one day. It's a pretty decent chunk. Uh, nothing to quit your day, day job about, but it's pretty cool. It's right there. We'll see how well this runs, and uh, I don't want to stop the bull to, to just to take it out. I want to see how well this bull performs. I've got the bucket underneath if I do lose it, but I don't think I'm losing that one. I'm going to keep my eye on it. That's a pretty big piece. Well, one thing I'm learning with, well, a couple of things I'm learning with the blue bull, it's finicky. Getting the right adjustment on the valve to control the water level and the flow rate is very, very tricky. And to make things worse, if you have a small battery like this, its voltage varies considerably in a very short time. So I have a small battery charger on it to regulate its voltage because I lost that piece of gold that I had earlier. So um, I watched it flip right out. The battery voltage changed and I watched that gold flip right out and over the top. So that's annoying. So I think I lost that piece of gold. I'm not finding it in there anymore. Um, I just readjusted and flushed all the sand out to the outside edges and restarted the thing to see if I might be able to recover that. It's not lost. It'll be in the bucket below. Worst case, the stone in the bucket below. Let me turn this off. So, uh, it's not lost. Um, I'm strongly considering a Miller table for super fine gold recovery because my understanding is it's not as hard to, to work as the blue ball. Although the blue ball has its purposes, um, I've heard, whether it's true or not, I'm experimenting today, that uh, the blue ball is better for round gold that was freed out of rocks and not as good for the um, placer gold like what I'm finding because it's super fine uh, flattened out from being crushed around by the rocks by uh, by the wave action or whatever or the glaciers that deposit it and uh, the flakes are e more easily swept away whereas the rounded stuff that you're crushing out of rocks in a hammer mill for example are more likely to just stay down at the bottom. But experience and time will tell. I'm, uh, it's cold out, really cold out, and I'm gaining experience. I think the Blue Bull can do a very good job. Right now, I have it set pretty low on the water level, and I'm pulling off the white sand and the garnet, leaving the heavies behind. For now, I think I'm going to be satisfied with doing that because if I crank the water up any higher, I can lose some gold. Too slow and it doesn't do anything. So there's a fine line between getting out your your black sands or losing gold. It's a very fine line. But I think what I'll be doing right now is get out the white sand and the garnet sand, which is coming out easier. And then I'll probably use a magnet in a series of containers to get out the really heavy stuff, the magnetic stuff. 
and then I'll probably have to hand pan it to find the gold, but this at least will help me reduce it down much quicker than uh, panning by hand. But it's a very sensitive system. I got some ideas on how to fine tune this now. I've been experimenting for days here. I've got some ideas that I'll share with you probably tomorrow when we got better daylight. So guys, here is my first upgrade to the Blue Bull Gold Concentrator. I've added a valve that has one and a quarter rotation on here to replace the original valve. Let me grab that. This only had a quarter turn, which was horrible for adjusting. So I went and got a dial valve so I can literally dial in my water level with precision because now I have one and a quarter turn whereas before I only had a quarter turn huge improvement on control of this thing and control is everything for keeping the gold in the blue bowl I am uh, able now to adjust the water level with precision and with ease just a tiny little turn now. It makes all the difference in the world. Example, my water level is a little too low. My flow is a little too slow. I'm just going to give this a tiny turn. That's all. Just the tiniest bit at a time to adjust my flow rate to be where I want it to. Right now I don't see any black sand coming up. So I'm going to wait a minute for that to settle out and then I'll adjust it again. That's cool, I hope it shows on camera. Look at the layering going on in there. That's really cool. So this is super, super fine beach sand, concentrated by the waves. So I've got my water level down a little under an inch from the top, and I'm really gotta be careful here that I don't suck out any gold because what I've got is flower gold super super fine and another improvement though to have precision control on your blue bowl especially if you have a small battery like mine is to put a battery charger on it and leave that plugged in because a major issue that I've discovered is your water pumps power is going to vary with the voltage of your battery so as your battery drains, your, pu your pump is going to decrease in speed. And if you put your charger on while this is running onto your battery, you're going to see a quick surge in power as the voltage leaps up under charge, and the pump is going to surge, significantly increasing the pressure in here and the water flow. And I lost my, that's how I lost my gold. I plugged in the charger and boom, I watched it go and there was nothing I could do. It went that fast. So uh, having control over your voltage, having control of your water flow are two massive things that you can do to improve your gold recovery on this. If you're out in the field, I would recommend a large, large boat battery. But even then, over time, you're going to see a change in your flow. So I have another thing I'm going to be working on on another video. I'm going to make, I'm going to take a 12-volt uh, voltage regulator and hook it up to my battery so that it will always be a precise 12 volts flowing into my water pump. No matter what the battery voltage is, as long as it's 12 volts or higher, I'll always have a precise 12 volts to the water pump. So I'll be working on that in another video as an upgrade. I'm also going to experiment with removing in the house all of this and putting on a plug in the wall 12 volt power supply to have more precision control over the blue bowl. Right now, the heavies are swirling, but they're not going over the top. And this is exactly what I'm saying. You gotta watch the water level, but what's more important is what your particles are doing. And they're just sort of hovering in circles. And so I just gave the valve a tiny little crank open. 
And then I have to wait a while and let it stabilize and see what happens and then I'll come back and check it again. Well, there's a piece of gold. Was, whoops. How far can I zoom in? It's not big. But it's right there. Shiny as gold. Well guys, I made another modification to my blue bowl. Uh, I'm going to get back to this in a minute here, but let me show you. Right there, I have taken a stable 12 volt power supply, and I took, you can cut the ends off the power supply, but if you're like me and you don't want to ruin things for future use, I took an end of a plug that I had, and I taped it out so the wires can't short together. I'm going to do that better on a circuit board later with uh, proper terminals for them. But I just wanted to see how this worked briefly. Anyway, now I have a stable 12 volt power supply to give me a very stable water level. Now this has been running for 10-15 minutes like this and I left it for one reason. I want to show you the stuff swirling around in circles around the base of that cone but not quite escaping yet and there was a reason I left it here like this one thing you want to do when using the blue bowl is start out rather than starting out with too high a water level and too fast and too high a pressure it's better to start out too low and very very slowly make adjustments adjust that valve a tiny tiny bit and then wait a bit, wait a few minutes. Once you get your adjustment and your water pressure, you have a perfect valve like this, which is really stable, a solid stable power supply. Now you know that this will be the same always. If I turn that power off and I make some adjustments in here, add some more black sands or whatever I do, suck up a piece of gold, when I turn the power back on, it's always going to be to the same level I left it last time, and that is awesome. So, it might take time adjusting it once, the first time, for the, uh, the fine sand that I'm using now. If you have a different, uh, a heavier, thicker particle, then you'll have to adjust it. But for what I'm running, I've got a lot of this super fine sand, so once I get this adjusted, it's going to stay that way, and I can run it all through. And that is a really good thing to have stability in this. So many people, what they're only complaining about the blue bowl is you're always adjusting the flow. And that's because there's too many variables in the system. You can stop that and make that stable, which I have now done. When I see a speck of gold, I will stop the flow, and then... Uh, I'll suck it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Every time I try to show the flashlight on it, the camera adjusts itself. Right there. It's hard to focus on. It's tiny. It's flower gold. I'm going to scoop that up. Got another speck right in here. Let's see if I can find it on the camera. Might need my oh there it is. Right there. You can see by my finger it's tiny. It's hard to focus. But there's another speck of gold. We did some math and figured uh, I could be wrong, but looking at a bunch of websites over the years and uh, come up with about point two eight, about about a third of a cent per flake of flower gold for that size which is what I'm finding here so three pe three specks to a penny um, you know nothing to quit your day job over but uh, it's fun well guys there you have it some uh, upgrades modifications to the blue bowl gold concentrator it is rock solid and stable now. I dial it in and I can walk away. Now, even though 
you can walk away for a while at a time. You still want to monitor it because uh, current fluctuations can happen. The water pump itself somehow can vary a little bit from time to time. So you still have to keep an eye on it. But it is a lot less hands-on with the adjustments I've made. So pretty cool. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos. Um, it's winter. I'm sitting here inside and I'm panning out the concentrates that I, I processed throughout summer. So uh, those of you interested in gold, stay tuned. See you later.